Oh, don't mind showing it again. No, no, no. I haven't yeah. seen it. Don't look so can I interact? Is it is it? It's all fixed on this screen now, right? So it's, you, can, you can start your music playing things and everything. And oh, okay. So if it's sitting in the dock, you can play the music. Photo frame, which will just scroll through your photos. Very cool, very cool. Um. Oh, I see. That's nice. So you've integrated watch into the dock mode, so you yep. can jump. Well, if there was media, we could jump straight on there, but it's uh, not. The, the network in here is struggling. I can't. I can't upload it to my, my uh, to my work. It was working perfect. We could use watch perfect earlier, but I think it's just crashed. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Though. I mean, how many devices do you reckon are on this network? Like, <laughs> yeah, probably just the one for everyone, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right, so that's that. Uh, yeah, so another nice thing to show, uh, so Connected Media is our DLMA. Okay. So you can dive through everything here. So I don't think this show, so that would be Select Your Player. Okay. But it probably won't work now, it's because it's... Uh, that's where we're paying. Take away from it, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the emails, right? So you see how we've got here four messages. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you can jump into ah, okay. the chain. Threaded, like, threaded yeah. emails, great. That's great. You can see the whole thread. And you'll notice another thing that does really nice. If you look at the email, it even shows the ones you sent. Yeah. So it's not just their part of the thread. You can see the, the whole conversation. Yes. Yeah, so Brilliant. Right. And you can dive straight into any part of that conversation as well. Nice. That's really, really nice. That's really good. Um, so multitasking, how do I uh, start that up again? Press and hold the back key. Oh, the back key. Is there an easy way to close apps down from here, or it is it just switching? It will run steps. Oh, okay. And wow. then it, it just drops off the last one. Oh, nice. That's really good. So it's rather than you needing task managers or anything, it completely manages it for you. Which I... Yeah, I don't think it's a daft thing. No, one no, of, one of the big things that I find with Windows Phone, you know, for a, and this is where this works. Yeah. Somebody that's come from a traditional feature phone, say, as your first smartphone, if you get what I mean. Yeah. It's so, it, it lets you change things, it lets you be flexible, but it also doesn't let you trip up. Yeah. You know? The camera's good on it, but the light is yeah, very good. We tested it over there at the time. It's very, very good and well dressed. You've got a new uh, backlight sensor, is that why? Backlight sensor. Yeah. Uh, okay. You've got a bigger aperture as well, it's an f2.2 lens. That's right. Uh, and then it's a 28mm wide angle lens as well. Okay. So we've done a lot of work on the hardware side, as well as the <laughs> switching front facing camera. Right, that's a 1.3 megapixel front facing. Uh, yes, on this one. Sure it is. Uh, <laughs> 1.3 megapixel. Right. Um, the settings there. Is this how I do panorama and yeah. burst? Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to take a picture fairly quickly of that. Or, so the, the idea is you take a shot, so press the, press the camera button, and then it'll want you to track for the next one. Oh, okay. You can get, get to the next one. So, oh, I see. Well, it's because I'm trying to stand on the next one. automatically doing this, you're not pressing the shutter. No, 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 you press the button. Right, and then once it hits those green, those white dots, it is. It just stitches the next one. 